What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna break down the technique I was able to hit at uh, 2021 Pan Ams. So uh, I was working a lot on uh, attacking aspect of my uh, butterfly guard and as you probably remember a couple weeks ago we've been uh, breaking down uh, my B plan sweep. So from this option, from this move, we're going to see how we can attack our opponent and how I was able to finish my first fight at Pants. So we're going to start the setup from a lazy butterfly guard. I'm uh, laying on my side, shoulder on the mat, hips sideways, one knee's open, one knee's on the mat, okay, and uh, I'm having my frame. So. If you watch the video about my uh, rollover sweep, B plan sweep, uh, as I call it, you know that the whole setup starts from putting my opponent's arm to the other side and switching my hips, obviously. So uh, this is what I what I was aiming for. I was putting my opponent's arm to the other side, and I was using the collar to drag him to the other side. And in the same time, I was switching my hips, opening up this side of my opponent's body for the attacks. So from here, I'm dragging my opponent to the other side. And in the same time, I'm switching my hips, putting my hips outside on the other, on the other side. And what happened in the fight was my opponent grabbed my collar. So while I was switching the hips, he grabbed the collar and he kept his posture low. So if you, if you remember, I told you that whenever his posture low, I'm not able to, to sweep him. I'm not able to get underneath my opponent. So right now what I did is I switched the grip on the sleeve and I grabbed the belt. So from this position, I'm able to choose if I want to go towards the back or if I want to go to the sweep if he opens up the space or I can attack from this position. So as I told you, if his posture low, I'm not able to go underneath to hit the sweep. And if he's holding my collar, I'm not going to be able to get to his back because he because of this, he'll always follow me. If I'm going sideways, he's following, right? So I'm not able to expose the back enough, but I'm able to hit, uh, hit the attack. So from here, what I'm gonna do after grabbing the belt and making him tighter here, making him stay low, I'm gonna drop on my shoulder again and now I'm gonna go with my knee over my opponent, opponent's shoulder, and I'm gonna drop my knee cup towards the mat. Now, after I drop my knee, I'm also putting my fo forehead on the mat. And from here, I already have the armbar. So I can finish the armbar belly down, just stretching my hips towards his elbow, or I can roll towards the side, drop my, uh, my, my side of the body towards the mat, shoulder, hip, arm is tightly locked and then I'm just gonna push my hips towards his elbow, okay? I'm always aware that I have to control the arm with a thumb up and the bottom of his fist towards my, towards my chest really tight, okay? You don't want to lose that control, you don't want him to rotate the arm, okay? So always for the whole time, doesn't matter, doesn't matter if I'm here, belly down, or if I'm here, I'm always aware that I have to keep this one tight, okay? You don't want him to escape during your roll, okay? Whenever, whenever you're moving, whenever, whenever you're changing the position, opening can, can occur, okay? So that's a chance for your opponent to, to escape. So you wanna stay tight on his arm, okay? And the second thing is I wanna stay tight with my heels towards his body. So I'm not stretching my legs because now I'm losing tightness and he can like step over and uh, start escaping. I'm always 
curling my feet towards towards my uh, my hips. Okay, and I'm always staying tight on his upper body here. So now we have nice and tight arm bar. So again, we're in lazy butterfly guard. Frame here, good position of the hips, sideways, one knee open, one knee on the mat. From here, I'm gonna use the collar to drag him towards this side. And I'm gonna switch my hips. And this is exactly what happened at, uh, during my fight. My opponent grabbed my, grabbed my collar. So as I told you, if his posture would be high, then I can go for the sweep. But whenever, whenever I see that his posture low, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force the sweep. It's, it's too much of a job. Okay, it's, it's, not even, uh, it's not even worth to dig. So from here, I switch the grip and I grab the, grab the belt. Okay, so I stay tight on my opponent and then I'm gonna drop on my shoulder again and I bring my knee over my opponent uh, shoulder. And now when I bring the knee over the shoulder, I put my knee up on the mat and I keep my shin in front of his face. Okay, so I don't want to, I don't want to go over his head like a classic armbar setup. I just want to stay like this. That's totally enough to finish the armbar. Okay, so shin towards his face. My, uh, my uh, foot is here tight as a hook on his, uh, on his back. And then I can choose if I want to finish it here, like I did during the fight, or I can roll towards the side, finish it here, or sometimes my opponent is gonna roll as well, so I'm just following with my hips, I maintain a good control over his arm, legs tight, so my knees are coming together, my, my heels are aiming for my, for my uh, hips, now it's tight enough so you can, you can uh, just add a bit of hip movement, to finish. Let's go from that angle also. So lazy butterfly guard. Now I'm gonna drag him towards the other side and switch my hips. As you can see, he grabs the collar. So as I told you, if he grabs the collar, it's gonna be really hard for me to, uh, to get to his back because he, he will use this one to always follow me and always face me. So from here, I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna get the grip on the belt. So because of th this grip, it's gonna be hard for him now to go backward, to escape from the, from the setup. Now I'm gonna drop, bring the knee over, forehead on the mat, roll, and we got the armbar. So that was my uh, Pan Am's arm lock from Lazy Butterfly Guard. If you like the video, hit the thumb up, subscribe the channel, leave me a comment. And if you want to see my entire fight from, uh, from Pan Ams, go to Flow Grappling, they have uh, all the fights there.